I think if I hear you call me Becky one more time, Six Pack, I'm gonna pop your tops. All six of them. Who are you? Hey, this is Matt once again. What about to another review? There's another paid request for Andrew Patterson, and this time it is for Stranger Things episode four. Now, last time on the show, they had found the body of this kid, Will, and sort of our main kid Mike is pissed off with the little girl Eleven saying you were supposed to find him and but he's dead and you're full of shit he doesn't say it but pretty much you're full of shit and I don't know I this is an episode that I didn't really care about a whole lot honestly because it just I get that this is about eight episodes long but it, it just feels like a long movie that doesn't need to be this long. Like, with all the stuff that happens, this could be maybe 20 minutes long. Cause, and it's kind of predictable if you've seen a lot of stuff. Like, with the kid's body, I'm like, that's not the kid's body. It's a fake body. And lo and behold, it's a fake body. So... It's like this build up. Well, what about this? I'm like, I, I can already guess what it is. <clears throat> Cause the, the kid's body's found. When owner writer doesn't believe it, the sheriff's like, you gotta accept it. Even the older son is like, you gotta accept it, ma. She doesn't. Meanwhile, Eleven is playing with the walkie-talkie. They hear the voice. Will uh, Mike gets the other two guys. By the way, do the other two kids actually ever fucking do anything in this show? Like you have the one kid who tossed a little bit with the, I think a lisp. I'm not sure. And then you have a uh, the black kid. Do those two kids ever fucking do anything on this show, or are they just there for shits and doodles? This is four episodes in. They haven't really amounted to jack shit. Like, this is half of season one. No, I've never seen the show before. But, like, do those two kids ever fucking do anything? Do they ever do anything? Like, I mean, is there a mode that they're worth a shit? At least in this season. So, the sheriff, I mean, he's, he's, uh, I keep calling him sheriff, but... He's that, well, fuck it. He's looking into the same way. The autopsy was done by these guys, not by our normal doc. What's going on here? I'm like, I already know. It's a fake body. That's why. It's a fake body. That's why. Really, the only interest is when they take the Eleven to school and she has to wear this dress and this wig as bullies pick on someone. So she makes the bully piss his pants. That was kind of fun. One thing about this show, which... I'm liking it okay so far. I wouldn't say I love it like everyone else did, but I, I'm liking it okay so far. I like the some of the tone, some of the 80s feel to it. Some episodes are better than others. This one, 
I don't know. I there's really not much sad in this episode. The the older sister of Mike, I don't give a f her storyline is not needed. You didn't even need this fucking character. It's pretty much talking to a guy, puts the pictures together, sees it's a monster. Oh, that's the same monster I saw. Okay. And whoop de fucking do. It it this seems like a show. Oh shit. It's eight episodes long. This is something that could be edited to a two hour movie. How do we stretch it to eight episodes? That that's what it feels like to me. At least that's my opinion. Cause here the, the sheriff hits someone the disinformation. Oh the guy lied about the body he saw. You get eleven has another flashback. I, I, yeah, this is all kind of just all it leads up to her and the kids get into the school to use the radio they hear the kid Will, he's pounding they're like what's going on the, the radio gets short circuited cut to Winona Ryder sees her son I like the look with this membrane looking thing in between her and the son and Winona Ryder's doing a good job acting wise And she's like, okay, if there's a monster, run. Then after she pounds the wall, it just gets through to the other side, to the outside. So it's not that the kid's in the wall, it's just, it's dimension. It's obviously a dimension thing. I don't know, we're not supposed to know that. But yeah, it's obvious it's some dimension thing. Sheriff gets to the body, it's a fake body with stuffing in it. And I'm watching, I'm going... There's really not much I got out of this episode. I already knew it was a fake body. It turned out to be a fake body. Eleven. Oh, you guys think he's dead? Just hearing Will on the radio, boom. He's still alive. This whole break into the school to look at the radio, just to hear him. He doesn't really say anything. Doesn't really give much information. It just go, oh, he's alive. Okay, you could have done that with the walkie-talkie, honestly. And it worked for a while and didn't work anymore. I don't know, it just didn't really amount to much of anything this episode. So, uh, yeah, this episode was rather pointless. Seriously? Yeah, you could probably do this in 20, 20 minutes. And it stretched out to over twice as long. I don't give a fuck about the older sister. I don't give a fuck about these pictures. I see a monster that I already fucking saw. I just... I guess just to convince... That's the way to convince the, the older brother of Will... If that's real, the, I, I, you know what else would convince it? If the older brother was there, saw the monster come out with one order, boom. That, that solves, I don't I just, I, it's really to the point of just, you just see the stretching out of the story that is a story that doesn't need to be stretched out this long. It's like a problem that didn't need to be created in the first place. And I do wonder if this is something that just would have worked better as a miniseries. Like if that's the case, a, a two-night miniseries. This is two hours, another two hours. I, I think that would have been better in the long run. Just to, to give more leniency and leeway, instead of this, what would be, what, eight hour, there's a lot that could have just been done in four hours. At least so far that I've seen. L hate it? It's okay? But it's not this, I love it mentality that, oh, I'm going to buy the season on DVD, at least so far. The actors do their jobs well, I like the way it looks, there's some episodes before I've liked more than others. 
But it, this episode was just uh, a boring one. Uneventful. Developing stuff I, I'm already ahead of the curve on. Not because I read stuff. Because I this is the first time I'm watching the show. And I'm like. Okay. Now what? I just. This is a boring. I don't want to say a filler. But just. Kind of a nothing episode. Other than Winona Ryder doing a good job. Saying I know it sounds crazy. But I'm not crazy. Her hysteria rising. But it's not annoying. It's not irritating. Winona Ryder does a good job. The flashback. I mean I've seen those flashbacks of Eleven. They were more interesting in other episodes. Where she flashbacks to. Here the flashback is. That guy is talking. Cut to she's in a room. And. She's able to hear from a speaker in her room. And that. I'm like okay. Alright. Like. What the fucking do. I just. Just. Amounted to nothing. For me at least. In fact. You didn't even need to do the whole. They find the body. It's a fake body. You didn't even need to do all that. You didn't even need to do all that. You could have just cut that out. He's still missing. And you just still have. You could do it. Don't have the fake body. He's missing. People assume he's dead anyway. She's like. Oh I'm sorry man. I'm sorry. You think you heard him. He's not there. And she still sees her son. And Eleven shows the kids. The voice. It's on the walkie talkie. They break if they want to break into it, hear him some more, maybe communicate him, uh, communicate with him a little bit. The whole older sister find the pictures. Fuck all that shit. <sighs> Hell, you can have the older brother there sees the brother, and her, one older writer and the older brother are telling them, "Yeah, we'll get you out." And like, there's so much stuff that could just be condensed or just. Short line and just seems over bloated or something. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Maybe it just this episode wasn't that impressive to me. I didn't. There's some episodes before I liked this one, not so much. I'm like, whatever. Oh, it's called The Body. The episode's called The Body because that was a Stephen Teen short story, The Body, which then become the movie Stand By Me. Oh, well. With that said, I, I guess it's more of a rant on this episode. It's just not much to it. Fairly boring. In my opinion. Again, the other two friends of mine, do they actually do shit? Or they just do no shit? Because even character-wise, there's really nothing to them character-wise so far that I've seen. Unless that changes. Makes me go, are these kids even needed? These other two kids who are friends about, are they even needed? I didn't, do they actually do anything? I guess I thought for some reason in this show, these kids would actually do more shit to help find their friend. Seems like they haven't done much shit and half the season is over. Maybe that changes. I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it changes a lot more. Maybe this, it picks up. I don't know. With that said, Thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.